Hello everyone, welcome to Sanology. I am Sanaz and today I want to show you how to formulate with salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is a kind of cosmeceutical, it's an active ingredient that will be so helpful for people with uh, very oily skin and people who have combination skin and uh, people who have uh, pimples, breakouts, uh, people with large pores or people with black heads, they, all these people can get advantage by using salicylic acid. Formulating with salicylic acid is not really easy, it needs some kind of tips and tricks. Um, because salicylic acid will not solve in water, it doesn't matter if you heat up the water, if you use you know, different type of water, um, you should solve salicylic acid in kind of solvent and uh, the solvent for salicylic acid, the best one is uh, propylene glycol and propanediol. The ratio that you can use this solvent with salicylic acid is almost 10 to 1 or 8 to 1. It means that if you want to add 1% salicylic acid to your formulation, you should solve it in 8% propylene glycol and if you want to use propanediol for your uh, formulation, you can add 1% salicylic acid in 10% solve it completely, have a very clear solution and then you can um, continue your formulation. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to formulate with salicylic acid and how you can have a very good product for people with oily skin, people who have acne breakouts because after using 30 days of salicylic acid you will see great results for the skin so we're gonna have a very clear skin the pores will be so smaller compared to the first day that you use salicylic acid and also people that have blackheads they can get lots of advantage by using salicylic acid so let's make this product I start with a beaker which is a large one and 500 milliliter beaker. You can um, start with any size of beaker, it's really okay but it should be um, heat resistant. I start with allantoin. Allantoin come into my formulation by 0.5%. Then I add Pantanol. Pantanol is 2% in my formulation. It's a type of vitamin B that I use it almost in all the formulation that I have. It doesn't matter if it is hair uh, formulation for hair or it is formulation for uh, skin because it has lots of advantage for our skin and it can keep uh, moisture and water inside our skin which is a really good uh, pro ingredient to use and water in my formulation is 61 percent and i add um, other ingredients like aloe vera juice or hyaluronic acid in some percent but i didn't put it in my formulation because it, i don't want to make it so complicated and then I add glycerin. Glycerin is 3% in my formulation as a home actant actually. And then I add propanediol. Propanediol come by 2% in my formula. Now it's time to start our oil phase. For the oil phase, I use 200 milliliter beaker and I start with cetyl alcohol. Cetyl alcohol come by 2% in my formulation. It's a thickener for our formulation. Then I add oil of choice, so I use no escalon. You can use any other type of oil that you have in your hand, but consider that this product will formulate it for the people with oily skin, so don't use the greasy oil. And then I add uh, the natural form of silicones that come in by 3% in my formula. 
oil was 8%. And then another ingredient that I will add to my formula is glycerin acetate by 2%. This is gonna be a co-emulsifier for my formulation. And then I add my emulsifier, which is Polavax or emulsifying wax, and it come by 3% in my formula. And the reason that I use Polavax is that it's too stable in pH 3, because we need to uh, reduce uh, the number of pH to 3 to 3.5, because otherwise we're gonna destroy salicylic acid in our formulation. And now we have our two phase, which is oil phase and also water phase. Uh, I will cover them with a uh, foil and then put them in the water, water bath, and uh, leave them for 20 minutes. And then uh, when they reach to uh, 70 degree, and then I will back and mix these two phases together. Before that, it's better that you measured the uh, the water phase um, with your um, uh, with everything that you want to have in your beaker and write down the weight uh, because after that you take it off from the heat you're gonna have some water that will evaporate and uh, you need to replace those water that we lost from our formulation and uh, meanwhile uh, we can start we can start our salicylic phase uh, for the salicylic phase I use a very small beaker and I use 1.5% uh, salicylic acid in my formulation. It's a, a powder, I mean, white powder, and uh, it's definitely need to solve in a solvent. The solvent that I'm gonna use in my formulation is propylene glycol. Propylene glycol that I use is 10% in the formula. And then um, when you wait it, you need to um, steer completely and um, it's better wait for a couple of minutes you're gonna have definitely a very clear formulation uh, of this mix Okay, now our, uh, we need to wait our water phase again, but uh, we didn't lose so much water. So it's really okay, it doesn't need to you know, replace the water. And then we can mix our oil phase to the water phase and use our stick blender to blend everything completely together to have a very really, uh, great white form of creme or lotion after this mixing. So now it's time to add our salicylic acid phase, which is a combination of salicylic acid and propylene glycol. Uh, and don't despair because uh, you maybe think that you will destroy your formulation by adding salicylic acid. No, it's really okay. And after mixing a little bit, if you use your stick blender, you can see that everything's gonna back to our very normal, lovely form of lotion. So for checking pH, uh, because pH is really important in our formulation, I use 10% um, solution of the formula. Uh, so I use one, uh, one gram of the creme and add nine gram of water. And I use my pH meter. And when the pH is below 3.5 or almost 3.5, it's okay. So the pH between 3 to 3.5 is a really good pH for products with salicylic acid. Maybe you need to add to level up or maybe uh, bring back the pH to 3 because we're going to have a very acidic um, lotion after using salicylic acid. And after that, I use my essential oil and I use cucumber oil, which is a really good one for people with oily skin. And uh, I add some vitamin E and liquid Gemma Plus. 
um, that I didn't show in this video and uh, yeah it's uh, actually the final form of the uh, the formulation as you can see you can take pick the um, snapshot and see the um, see the formulation uh, so I use um, 30 gram of uh, airless pump and um, put the salicylic acid lotion inside this pump and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching